Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's boy Swabby Boom here with another eating video. What's going on? How are ya? I got Elio's Pizza here. You know, I think I did an Elio's Pizza video a little while ago. It's just my go-tos when I'm just, I don't feel like cooking. I don't feel like doing anything, and I just want to get something fast. This is super crispy flatbread pizza, basically. Back in the day, it was just cheap frozen pizza. You know, for all my older millennials or Gen Xers, you remember Elio's. Now, I will say this. I did doctor this up. I put like Italian seasonings on it, uh, extra mozzarella cheese, and there's some pepperoni underneath. Usually they were just cheese pizza. So I am crazy hungry. I'm ready to dig in. Um, oh, these are really hot, I feel like. You know what? Let me let me start off with dessert. I got a frozen ganzito. But I do want to get the thumbnail and maybe try a bite to see how hot it is. So, um, yeah, let me let me get dig in here. That's good. Okay, first bite, Elio's Pizza. Finally made a YouTube video of this. Ha! 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 Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> I got some Mexican Coke. <sighs> the bubbles. The bubbles. I have a day off today, finally. I I feel like I haven't had a day off in so long, I, but I have. I actually was on a mini vacation where my wife's sister came into town from Finland. And our work, a few days, a few longer days, but then I would have like three to four days off in a row each week for like two, two and a half weeks. Ah. And literally every day, it was just doing something, which I don't mind. But when I don't have any breathing room, it's tough. And wifey's pregnant more than halfway through a pregnancy. I'm trying to make sure she's good and not stressing out. You know, it's a lot of walking when you want to see a million things in New York. And I don't know if you guys follow me on TikTok, but I made like a few videos recently that kind of went viral, kind of. And um, it, it just sparked up really good conversation on what it's like to live here. Especially when it's um, two people that, you know, we're a little older, we're not young. We don't want to get into that party scene. We don't want to stay up all night while I'm out doing all that. We don't want to do that. We're a little older. And um, people are, will be like, well, why? What, what's the point? I think we just like the fact that we have options and we didn't want to go. I think we also like the fact that we live in one of the best cities in the world 
<clears throat> and we can just casually go and do something on a whim. And I, I, it's somebody commented and said, New York, living in New York City is extremely old, extremely low effort when you go out and do anything, but it's extremely high reward, which is true. And, and what he means by that is, you know, the wife and I, we're homebodies. We don't go out, we don't do anything. When we were living in Nashville, we came to New York on vacation and banged out all the things that we wanted to see and do, right? And then that sparked the whole move to New York. And then the first year we lived here, we did a lot of touristy stuff. And then a lot of our family would visit, a lot of my family would visit, and we'd go and do touristy stuff. But after all that ended, we still have the spark for the city. We still love it here. But we were homebodies, so a lot of times we'd stay inside. And um, sometimes we'd stay inside too long. And we, well, like, don't get it twisted. We go outside, we take Rocky out, and we do it. We, we're like, we're okay. We're not like hermits in here. I'm not like on a computer gaming for 18 hours a day in my little corner in the dark and she's fucking off on her phone somewhere doing nothing in bed like with the lights off. Like, no, we like, we spend time together in here. We play with Rocky. We eat good. We laugh. We have a good time. But every now and again, it turns into like, wow, like, when's the last time we went outside? Like, I feel, <laughs> like, I feel really claustrophobic sometimes. You know what? Maybe we should go outside and get some air. Um, when you live in regular America, going outside in Kinsamara means either going in your backyard, getting in the car, going to a park, going to a mall, things like that. Nothing like crazy. But to us, casually going outside for some fresh air means walking two or three blocks to Central Park. And then that turns into like, like we'll just end up having a long conversation about nonsense. Because we're getting exercise and we're walking, we're laughing. We might get some... Mr. Softy, some ice cream, which is awesome. Like it's the best soft serve ice cream you can get. And, oh, we'll be, we'll be walking in the park and then be like, oh, look, it's the Met. You want to go in there? The museum, like one of the most famous museums ever. Sure. Let's go in the Met. Oh, how much is it? Free. All we got to do is show ID and like give a donation. We give a dollar. So calm down. You can give a penny if you want. But the whole deal is, as long as you live in New York City and you show your ID, any museum you go to or any like big landmark you go to is free. So now we're just walking around the Met. No bags. We're not even looking at anything. We're making fun of people. We're making fun of the $18 chicken wrap that they sell in the Met. No. we'll end up finding new areas of the Met that we just never thought we, like we thought we saw all of the Met. But I guess like every couple months they like change up certain areas. And then that turns into like, you hungry? What should we do? Get some food? Well, I'm in the mood for a pastrami sandwich. You wanna go to Cats? Sure. Down the block, hop on the six. Go on down there. Now we're on 
Houston Street, getting a cat's pastrami sandwich. And then that turns into... My point is, another person commented after I made a TikTok about everything I just said, like going, going casually to the park, going casually to the Met, going casually to Cat's Del uh, Deli. Another person commented on that video and said, you just went and did a bunch of things on a whim and the things that you did are things that people from other parts of the country, hell, other parts of the world plan all year and save up money to go do. Hence the other comment, extremely low effort with extremely high reward. And that's what I like. I like that. I swear to God, if Nashville was more walkable, it'd be perfect. I would love to live there. I think that's it for me. Ganzito time. It's a Mexican Twinkie. With like some kind of strawberry stuff, some creamy stuff, and wrapped in chocolate. Oh yeah, just like the picture. It's like the best Mexican snack you can get. Oh yeah. And I know I'm not going to be here forever. I know baby Rolly is going to be born in October. And things are going to change. I'm going to have a born baby boy born in New York. And we're going to raise them here for a little while. And then once we get our shit together, <laughs> we're going to have the baby first. We're going to have, we're, let's have the baby first. Broke. And then we'll try to, all right. All right. We, you know, I guess we got to get serious now. Because <laughs> we got to save money. No more spending on expensive pizza. I know. Um, Eventually, we plan on moving to Finland. See how that works out. I talked to a few uh, Finnish influencers about me moving there. You know, I let them know, like, it's not going to happen for a while. But I got a network. So when I get there, I can get my paperwork together. And hopefully within three to four months, I'll be working in Finland as a butcher. But until then, I'll be eating authentic New York pizza. <laughs> but anyways, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a while. I always apologize. And this now I know this channel sucks now. We don't, I'm not consistently doing nothing. But for those who do watch this, thank you for coming through. And uh, don't forget to thumbs up the video if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. Comment, subscribe. And um, I was going to do a Tres Leches Cinnamon Toast Crunch video. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. All right, y'all. Peace.